The thing with the Mandem is a shit show, but I think they did the right thing, you know? They did the right action to shore Harry, but that's not their business to uh, be making decisions like this. You can't instill in them, but they can do whatever they want when we're not around because people are doing us wrong. That's not how that works. I shouldn't have pulled the gun and I shouldn't have gotten aggressive. That's something that could have been resolved if he didn't snowballs my shit. The fingers was a key time and time again, unfortunately. Like, he hasn't earned the right to say whatever the fuck he wants to come out of his mouth to whoever the fuck he wants to say it to. Now we have to turn this into some sort of fucking fake lesson for him to learn to get access to the fucking lab. And this is only a fucking goddamn pump. Harry, your son is straight up three under, under the fucking bus there for my fucking mm. approval. <laughs> That's kind of fucked but the up. Thing, but the thing is, <laughs> Zakid got shot for not realizing the place he's supposed to be in. He needs to work his way up. He doesn't know his, his place and he always oversteps. One day, these will be the guys running shit. They ain't gonna live forever, Harry. And I ain't gonna have a bunch of fucking uh, Joe Schmoes, uh, you know, running everything we'll leave behind. And you're gonna fucking call your son and be like, I'm sorry, son. I spoke to Lang and he's willing to let you cook in the lab if you want, but you can't fuck this up. I fucked up. You're right. I'm sorry too. We'll talk tomorrow. I love you. I love you too, kid. She don't fucking love him. He's, he's having a tough day. We can just tell her just so young, think so young minded. We're just fucking old trying to teach him our fucking ways. So we can get in the lab now? Yeah. I wish uh, your son didn't know balls me because then uh, it would have been a good day. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling I know why he, he no balls you. He's probably thinking to himself, I just spent all this time where I can be the fucking head cook. There's no way they're going to shoot me. <laughs> Because when you told him that if uh, I had a gun to your head, you wouldn't say that. If you had a gun to my head, I would totally be yelling at you to fucking shoot me in the head. I'd like to think you wouldn't do it, but I'd rather just not take the chance. <laughs> no, no thanks. This fucking company really died when I left, huh, Harry? I need to make a new company to fucking prove a point. Maybe it's time to come out of retirement. How fucked up would it be if I just start raving myself? And no matter what, where I go, life follows me. But me, you, with the life and blood of that fucking company. Well, I don't really think I did much. I'm gonna start a new company. Right. And I'm gonna prove a point when Leslie comes back and when Nancy comes calling, I'm gonna stick out my middle finger and say, suck it, motherfuckers. I left so I didn't have to fucking deal with you assholes. I'm like LeBron James. I'm fucking going on 40. Motherfuckers still expect me to fucking carry everything. It's pathetic.